Hey everyone, this is Rajendra here. In this video, we're gonna learn about how to integrate Open Algo with Ami Broker. So we're gonna download and data plugin. So let's go and download it. Right. I'm gonna go to the documentation. So under the documentation, I'll go to trading platforms. Under trading platforms, I'll go to Ami Broker. So under Ami Broker, I'll go to the Ami Broker plugin section. So in this section, right, you can go and download the plugin from here. Uh, if you go and click on that, it'll be going to the ME Broker Open Algo plugin section where you can find the latest plugin and you can go and download this Open Algo plugin.zip. And once the zip is downloaded, unzip it. So, in my case, I had already uh, unzipped it. So, you'll be seeing something like this. So, get into the folder, you'll be seeing 32 bit and 64 bit. Uh, so, in my case, I'm using uh, ami broker 64 bit so which you can go and check by looking into your ami broker go to the help and click on about ami broker so in my case it says like a 64 bit if it is 32 bit it shows 32 bit right so uh, that means i have to install the 64 bit version so let me close ami broker so ensure that when you are uh, uploading any data uh, plugin so ensure that you are closing the ami broker here which is what i'm gonna do that and then i will go to the 64 bit folder copy the open algo.dll from here i'll go to my ami broker folder which is inside my c drive program files ami broker plugin so in this particular path uh, is where all the ami broker plugin lies i'm gonna go and paste the plugin over here and once this is done right so i'm gonna restart my ami broker let me pull up my ami broker again yeah, so you will be getting a notification like this saying that openalgo.dll the plugin is already uh, loaded uh, which is fine that opens up my broker right so i'm gonna go and create a new database i'll go to file new database so i'm gonna give a name uh, the name could be anything for time being i want to say like openalgo db right so if you want to load at startup i'll leave it default if in case we are also partly using some other database uh, you always want to switch you can uncheck this for time being i'm going to keep it enabled click on create and then i'm going to go and in the data source section i'm going to go and select the data plugin as open algo data plugin and uh, the number of bars i'm going to make it as like 75000 that's the number i'm going to give which approximately stores like 156 days of historical data it could do more than that but yes 75,000 is the number I'm going to keep and base time interval I'm going to keep it as one minute followed by that I'm going to go and do the intraday settings as well so intraday settings uh, I'll uh, leave it as uh, default as it is the only thing what I need to enable is like allow mixed EOD and intraday data because open algo supports a mix of intraday and uh, EOD data by default uh, intraday data up to 30 days will be loaded and uh, mixed EOD of uh, last 10 years of historical data or whatever the maximum your broker is providing that will be loaded so i'll press ok and then i have to do one more configuration here i have to go to the configuration section ensure that i'm setting my server uh, port open algo api key this i need to get it from the open algo api key section right so which means i have to go to the uh, open algo so my open algo is already running in the background i'll go to the api section copy the key and uh, paste it over here right and set up your uh, default where your open algo is running and the websocket url if in case uh, if you need to check whether everything is working fine or not you can also click on uh, testing the connectivity testing the websocket url right if everything is successful then you can press ok so that we, uh, and press ok again if everything is fine you'll be seeing an ok led that means the ami broker had established connectivity with uh, open algo in turn it will be connecting and rendering the data from the broker so i'll go and enter the symbol over here so in order to get the symbol so let's say like i want to get for in fee so in fee hyphen hyphen followed by that we have to use the exchange name so nsc is the exchange name i have to provide over here so all the symbol and exchange are in open algo symbol format so if in case if you are not familiar with the open algo symbology try to get familiar with the open algo symbology uh, so i'm going to select the infi over here so i should be able to see the uh, data over here immediately start keep coming in so let me open up a separate blank chart 
I'll go to the price chart. A simple price chart is what I had loaded, right? So you'll be able to get uh, in by default. You'll be getting access to the 30 days of historical backfill. This is in the preliminary stage, but going forward, more and more new features will be added up. Maybe if your broker supports more historical data, we'll try to add facilities to add more historical database uh, to the ME broker. Right now, by default, any data which is any symbol that you are adding, right? it will be adding one uh, month of that is like 30 days of uh, historical backfill right so 30 calendar days it is not 30 trading days and uh, i think it is 30 trading days it is the data is what starting from 23rd september yeah that that means like uh, 30 calendar days it is right and uh, the daily data automatically it's also download for the last uh, 10 years but going forward as i said uh, we'll be adding more support to that uh, depends upon the response from the community so by default you'll be getting 10 years of historical data and majority of the brokers data are uh, split bonus adjusted hopefully right so it's your duty to go back and check it out whether the data is adjusted to split bonus and everything and uh, the other thing what i would like to bring you is like let's say if i want to get some uh, future symbol right so, and if you are not familiar about the open algo symbol format go to open algo get to the security section sorry not the security section get to the search section and uh, select the uh, let's say like i want nifty future so i'll say like nifty october future so you can go and uh, get the open algo symbol format from here uh, search the symbol and uh, copy the symbol format exchange is going to be nfo this is the open algo exchange you should use you should avoid using the broker exchange because broker exchange is different from broker to broker and uh, i'll go add the symbol right and then hyphen nse sorry nfo it is right nfo for nifty futures and options press ok and this is the format that right now it is supported in ME broker and you should be able to see the daily data and the one minute uh, historical data all those data you should be able to see that right apart from that uh, let's say you want to get and some uh, MCX symbols as well so I'll also add an, another MCX symbol as well let's say I'll select MCX I'll say like crude oil so crude FUT let's say October, November future is what I want to play with so I'll go to November future, search the symbol, copy it, exchange is MCX, right? So I'll go to the symbol hyphen MCX and press OK, right? See, by default, every time it is updating, it is live. And also ensure that if you want to access the frequency of the updates, so you can set the frequency of the updates, go to file database settings configure so by default it is set to like uh, 15 is the number that you'll be seeing however you can change it uh, ensure that you're keeping anywhere around for 5 to 15 so that your broker rate limiting will not be hitting so aware about the broker limit generally broker limit up to 10 symbols or 50 symbols that depends upon your broker to broker it varies right so i would prefer to keep this number anywhere between 5 to 15 so that will be keep on fetching the data every five second once or every 15 seconds once don't try to keep it as low as like one or uh, zero right it's not highly recommended it's anywhere at uh, around 5 to 15 or 30 is the number just recommended but every time the data is getting updated it is uh, updating in real time right I hope that explains how to get the historical data and if in case we are using futures symbol as well you can also go and add the um, open interest data as well so open algo supports open interest data as well i think this could be a you know, very useful feature most demanded feature from the open algo users so hope you like it let me know what more that you want to see in ami broker data plugin right and the entire plugin is kept open source so i'll also give you the link to the configuration and also the open algo ami broker plugin uh, source code down below the description section let me know in comments how it works for you thank you